Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and we're on site here in Pittsburgh where we're testing four machines at the same time. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to test the duty cycle of these machines. Now, each of them have their own specs to them, but what we're going to do is we're going to take them to the max. Not only are we going to check the duty cycle, we're going to check thermal overload, and very seldom you see that type of publications reported. So we can go left to right, but uh, what we have over here is we've got an MT125. That's 125 amps, and it's rated at 35% duty cycle. This machine is a, uh, an Everlast 210 EXT. It's rated at a 60% duty cycle. And I've got a machine here called a Razor Weld. It's a 200, it's a DC only, and it's rated at 35% duty cycle. And finally, the last machine we'll uh, be looking at is the Alpha TIG. 200X. It also has a 60% duty cycle. So we're going to run all these machines up to the max on DC and you can see my setup here and we're just going to see how far it'll go before they shut off or burn the torch up or something happens. Uh, so let me get all my gear on and we'll get started and you'll see all of these run simultaneous. Okay, this, the setup on this machine, this is the HP 200X and I'm using the accessories that come with the machine, the foot pedal and the torch. Now, the one thing I did do is I put a 1 8 inch diameter tungsten in there because I'm running this all the way up to 200 amps. That's the max that this machine has. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the machine on, I'm gonna hit the start button and then depress the foot pedal all the way to the max. So I'll get somewhere between 197 and 200 amps. So um, here we go. Okay, now what we have is a Razorwell 200. Now this is a DC only machine. Uh, we're gonna run it on 220, even though it runs off 110 or 220. So we're gonna try to get as, as close to 200 amps as we can. Um, so anyway, we've got it plugged in, we've got it ready to go. I've got a 1 8 inch tungsten in here. Now I don't have a foot control for this machine. I just don't have it with me. So I've got the torch that comes with the machine. I've got it set on four steps. So all I have to do is hit the button and the arc will come on. So uh, let's turn everything on. I'm gonna hit the button there and I'm gonna start the stopwatch right here. Okay, I've got the Everlast 210 EXT. That's a digital machine. Now we've got this machine set up on DC. It is both AC and DC. Uh, so I have a torch here that's got a 4T button or switch on the front. This torch is not a flex head, but it is a 26 style head. So that head is a 200 amp rated uh, torch. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and hit the 4T button. I'm gonna hit the stopwatch and we'll see what it does. Okay, I've got the Mr. TIG MT125, which is an AC-DC machine. We're gonna test it only on DC and it'll go up to about 125, 130 amps. Now, the thing that's unique about this machine, it is only a 115. It's designed for portable, portable use, plug it into the household current and away you go. Now we're in a shop that has a 20 amp breaker. So here's the test. Is this machine gonna reach its 35% duty cycle, which is three and a half minutes, or is the torch gonna to give out, or is the breaker gonna give out first? So if you wanna use this to the maximum, get a 25 amp breaker. So we're gonna test it on the normal 20 amp breaker. So I'm gonna turn everything on, then I'm gonna start the timer. So here we go. Okay, we've reached the uh, one minute mark. The 150 amp cable is still cool. Okay, we're now at one minute. Everything is going just fine. Okay, we hit the one minute mark and this machine's running about 191 to 193 amps. So everything is going fine. Okay, we just hit the two minute mark. Everything's going well. Torch cable starting to get a little bit warm. Okay, we've hit the two minute mark, and just keep in mind this little lunchbox size machine only has a 35% duty cycle. 
So it's our expectation that this should go three and a half minutes without having any type of a thermal overload. Okay, now we've just passed the two minute mark. I just want to mention this machine is a 60% duty cycle. So we're expecting for this to go at least six minutes without having any kind of problems. Okay, we've hit the two minute mark. I can feel the, uh, the cable heating up a little bit. It's just warm, it's not, not hot at this point. We're just about to hit three and a half minutes. So we're just about to hit the expected duty cycle of the machine. Okay, we lost a breaker at three minutes and 40 seconds. Okay, we've met the manufacturer's specification on 35% duty cycle. We're running at about 195 amps right now. We're now past four minutes, and keep in mind the torch is only a 150 amp rated torch. So we're gonna keep going all the way up to 10 minutes, or if something happens prior to that, whether it be a thermal overload, whether it be the, uh, the tungsten gives out, the torch gives out, but in any case, we're gonna try to take it all the way up to 10 minutes. Okay, we just hit the six minute mark. That was what the requirement was for the machine. That's as it is listed. Now we're into uh, six minutes plus. The, uh, the torch is starting to heat up. The cable to the torch is starting to heat up. And I've classified it as just warm right now. It's not hot, but it certainly is warm. Okay, we've reached 60% duty cycle or six minutes. That is the uh, advertised duty cycle, and that's our expectation. So we're gonna continue, we're gonna run this all the way up to 10 minutes. It'll either run 10 minutes or we'll hit thermal overload, whichever comes first. Getting a little bit of smoking. Torch is getting a little bit warm, as expected, at 210 amps. Also, uh, just wanna note that I'm still using a 1 8 inch diameter tungsten. Eight minutes, torch is hot, torch is uh, actually starting to smoke a little bit. A lot of radiant heat. Okay, we've now exceeded eight minutes, and you can see some little sparklies there. But those are just impurities in the metal coming out. It's, uh, it's arcing straight into steel, and there's a backup of steel also. Okay, we hit nine minutes. We've got one minute left. Torch is starting to warm up. You can see it smoke. The cable is certainly uh, in the hot category now. So let's see how well it holds up. The machine is now running at 203 amps. We'll take this to uh, 10 minutes exactly and then we'll shut it off. Okay, we hit the 10 minute mark. The, uh, we're starting to have a little meltdown here, so we're gonna shut it off. Okay, we've reached the 10 minute mark. Well, it, it always feels good to test machines yourself so you can see what's going on. And I've gotta say, all four of these passed as they were advertised. So uh, I wanna give you a couple of the things that happened during the testing. I got the AHP here and it, it actually went the full 10 minutes, and right at 10 minutes, it blew a torch cable, and you could see the amperage drop, but uh, no fault of the power supply. We had a 150 amp torch on there. Uh, this little rascal right here, uh, we ran it on 220 also, and uh, it made the full 10 minutes, uh, no problem at all. Just a surprise, because it looks like a little lunchbox. Uh, just cute, darling as can be, well put together. Uh, this here is a 210 EXT. Uh, it ran very smooth during the testing. Uh, again, we ran it on 220. Uh, didn't have any problems with circuit breakers or anything else while we were running 220. This went the full 10 minutes duration. 
you know, it was designed for 60% duty cycle, so it certainly went well beyond that. And we get to the, this little machine right here. This is an ACDC MT125. It was tested only because it was designed for 115 volts. It, it met its 35% its duty cycle. It actually tripped out, and not the machine itself, but the breaker tripped out right after it hit its duty cycle. So it tripped out at uh, 3 minutes and 50 seconds. So all of them passed. Um, they all look good. And I just want to thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.